Hi guys, welcome back to another plan with me. This week I looked back through my planner and I was trying to decide what colours to use but I did get an order from Washi Tape Australia this week and the Washi Tape that I'm using are both from there and I realised they are exactly the same pattern as you'll see in a minute but I don't think you can really tell but oh well it doesn't matter anyway, who says you can't have the same pattern? I just really wanted to use orange this week and so I thought a good option would be to use uh, green with it. I did do one similar I realised not that long ago, it was peach and green but I feel like this is kind of more vibrant orange so I think I got away with it. I really wanted to do like a, this, the, the, the spread that I did recently where it was all orange and a little bit of purple I really enjoyed that wanted to do something like that again but I wanted to be a bit different and I had these stickers that you can see here the the wine glass full boxes from ba Basil and Mint so I wanted to use that so I decided to play on those colors uh, the pen I was just showing you is my absolute new favorite it is a Muji gel ink pen which is 0.25 nib size I think that's what you call it it is so good for precision, drawing, doodling, writing, and I actually tried my hand at some hand, hand lettering last week. I will link that above so you can have a look at it. I really loved how last week's spread turned out, so I tried to do something similar this week, which you'll see, which are kind of stuffed up. It's a bit unfortunate. I'm still working on it. I still need to get my fonts a little bit better. I wasn't totally happy with the hand lettering and because it was so big it's so noticeable. But that's okay. I'm hoping that I can rectify it as the week progresses. I'm on holidays this week which is really exciting. I'm filming this voiceover before we go so that it's up and ready for Sunday. Um, but we're just going down the south coast of New South Wales for five nights away which I'm really looking forward to I haven't had any time off since my honeymoon which was a year and a half ago apart from a couple days off over Christmas I haven't had any like time away since then which was April 2015 so I'm really looking forward to it definitely needed some R&R &R. and after that we're back at work for about two months and then we go overseas to Europe which we are both so excited about. You can see that 60 days to Europe sticker on my hand there. So we go to Spain first, then on to Germany, then Austria, then Ireland and then we're finishing off in England. My husband's um, is originally from England so we're going back to see family and friends and doing a big trip before uni starts back up again in November. So I wanted to do this week a little bit more journaling like as opposed to planning because obviously I don't know what we've got on this week. I think that's the whole point. You kind of go away and you relax and you don't do too much. So I just wanted to put the bare basics down and I'm going to take my planner down with me and I will add stuff in as we go. I'm going to try my hand at some more hand lettering. That's a really silly term to use hand and hand but I'm going to try do a little bit more of the hand lettering and see how I go. And I was inspired to do that by GP Sticker Studio. Um, I saw one of her, saw one of Gabby's monthly spreads recently and I really loved how it looked. So I thought, you know what, I, I've always wanted to do it, but I'm really apprehensive about it just because there is so much room for error. <laughs> and as you can see here, I totally stuff this up. It's not the best, but you know, it's not the worst so at least I did it and I'm glad I'm sort of getting out of my comfort zone with the whole writing thing
commented, Melissa actually commented on my video last week that she would be interested in seeing some vlogs from while I'm away. I didn't think she meant this week while I'm down the south coast, I think she meant while I was away in Europe. So if that is something that you're interested in and you would like to see some of Europe, then let me know in the comments below. Obviously this is a planner channel first and foremost, so I'm not going to post anything that, you know, isn't necessarily planner related, but I thought I could do a small video, but let me know if that's something you're keen on. Otherwise, I will keep sticking to the planning videos, and as I said last week, I plan on doing pre-planning videos so I will hopefully still have videos going out while I'm away but they'll be pre-planned so hopefully I can get all that organized I've got uni on and I've got in my exams right before we leave so I'm hoping that I can get everything done and I can actually pass these subjects but we'll see how we go if I end up not being able to then there might be a couple weeks there where I've, nothing's going up but Life happens and I will be back on track when I get back, which will be mid to late October. But until then, all my videos will be going up as per normal. And I will try get midweek videos up when I can. There, I didn't use too many stickers this week. A lot of them were for ba from Basil and Mint. Uh, I had like a little mini sheet that I wanted to use. And I just used some extra... I don't know, decorative stickers, so this one here with the car, that's from Planner Gems. I need to get more car stickers, I use them all the time, and it's so strange the things that you you use every week, you wouldn't necessarily think that you would use a lot of them. Arrows, I love arrows as well, so I need to buy some more arrows, I actually use one in this spread, which I believe is from Hurricane Randy, and I got them, my cousin did a bulk order and I just got a couple of sampler sheets which I'm really glad I did because there were some really cute stickers in there that I'll point out when it's coming up but I use these little thin strips here the orange and the yellow one they're from a sample sheet from one orange snowflake so I thought that was kind of cool trying to like show the passage of time most of Monday is going to be spent driving it's about four and a quarter hours away from where I live down the coast still in New South Wales like takes I don't know we're pretty close to the bottom I'd say probably another two or three hours until the um, border with Victoria but if you ever find yourself in New South Wales I suggest you go down the south coast it is so beautiful definitely something to see so that little fruit and veg uh, bag there that is from Hurricane Randy and so is that arrow just there I thought they're really mini and cute which I think is really cool and I didn't want to put too many stickers on, as I said, because I don't really know what I'm doing this week. And most of this week will be kind of like journaling, adding in memories and having a record there of what we did. I actually got my planner. The first week that I planned was the week that we went down to Naruma last year, which was really cool. I got an 18 month planner, which in hindsight, I, hindsight, I wish I didn't do because my planner is so thick now. And I kind of want something new, but I am persevering because I want all of it to be used I want to stick with it I don't want to sweep and switch and swap planners all the time so I'm going to continue until the end of the year but it's really cool to think that I've had this planner for you know 18 months by the end of it I really like it as a memory keepsake well that's about it for this week guys thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it uh, I'm almost at a thousand subscribers as I'm saying this last couple are really taking a long time which is fine but I'll be having a giveaway soon so stay tuned for that I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.